Hi everyone, my name is Arnold and welcome to today's devotional. We will be looking at 1 John chapter 1. You know, for me personally, one of my biggest shortcomings was shame and pride. Basically, I didn't want people to know that I was a sinner. Ultimately, that's what was going on. Uh, Any time that I would engage in any form of sin, I would hide that in shame and then on the surface come across as though I am an incredible Christian leader. I get everything right. I pray five times a day. You know, I've read the Bible a million times and I know every single word off my heart. That's how I used to present myself because I was too ashamed. The issue wasn't I was just I was so proud. I wanted to be the best. No, I was also too ashamed to um, express the fact, you know what, I'm weak. I need help. And even though I lead, I still need help and I'm still incredibly weak. And maybe that might be the case for you Uh, or maybe somebody that you know. There is a deep-seated shame in your heart and you don't want to bring this to the light. The thing is, God is light and in him there is no darkness. Everything is exposed in God like a massive torch to you. Everything is exposed. And the Bible is elsewhere says um, that if anybody is found in a transgression, it is the obligation of the, of the leaders in the church to restore such a person with a spirit of gentleness. So we as Christians need not have shame in our lives because if we confess our sins to God, he will forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So don't be ashamed and live in darkness as though uh, that is the, the, the best place to be, as though you're the one that should be carrying your sin. No, proudly in one sense, just express the fact, you know, what? I am weak. I sinned yesterday and I'm telling you this so that you can help me because I know in Jesus I will be free from this weakness and I will be free from this pain and suffering that I put myself into. God will set me free as I bring these things into the surface. Be a person now that will repent of just shame and pride and not letting other people know about your own weaknesses and go out to trusted people and say, you know what, I really messed up. And this is what I've done. There is nothing that you can do that can not be forgiven. Trust in God and bring this to the surface in everything that you do.